Hello friends, welcome to News UK 24. I'm Chef Walter. In this new episode, we'll talk about the best and the worst foods. Our video cast is about sharing sensible knowledge for the protection and uh, lifestyle of the consumer. And among America's favorites is a spinach and artichoke dip, popularized in 1953 when the TV dinners came into our living room. Manufacturing companies jumped on the trend and developed many different types. No utensils needed, handheld food perfect while watching sports and other programs. They are still in our living rooms today and also found their way into fast food operations, which offers them as a shareable appetizer. It's a great way to start a meal. Dip those chips into a smooth, rich concoction of cream cheese, mayo, parmesan, garlic powder, salt, pepper, canned artichoke hearts, spinach, and more cheese, usually mozzarella. The first two words, spinach and artichokes, are the selling hooks, being vegetables, and we feel we are choosing wisely. Canned artichokes packed in sodium brine, cheeses that have cellulose, salt, cheese flavorings, and vegetable oils will bring the score down, however. Mayo is mayo, and unless you whip up some yourself, it's just a binder of binding ingredients. Spinach is fine. You need to consider whatever chips, crostini, pita, and other tasty carbs you choose as a complement with the dip. They also come with lots of stuff, such as salt and saturated fats. You're looking at about 1,600 calories per one serving, 100 grams of fat, and 2,500 milligrams of sodium. Then, if we had the chips, you can do the math. It is as bad as drinking two of those Giancocino that you find in coffee shops. Just about. Well, I am deeply sorry for the disappointment. But if you cannot do without, please substitute with non-fat Greek yogurt, perhaps, and you may be able to scale down considerably the calorie content. Or simply just cut up some celery, carrots, beets, and other marvelous earthy gifts, and you will feel wonderfully later on. My suggestion, eat the spinach dip with artichokes in moderation. And that is all for this episode. Subscribe to this channel on YouTube and follow Flavors and Knowledge podcast, which is offered on Apple and any one of your preferred platforms. You may want to join our newsletter on Substack.com for the latest in food trends, recipes, and much more. My suggestion, cook healthy and eat even healthier. Thanks for watching. We reconnect next time. Ciao.